Hi guys, the Android tutorial part one. Here, Prabish, uh, with you for taking this tutorial. Uh, in the first part, I am going to uh, explain how to prepare your computer for Android development. So, in the first part, I am going to demonstrate how to download the needed uh, software packages. Uh, for your com computer for starting Android development. So here it is the first. Here is the first package you need to download is the uh, Java development kit or simply the JDK. This is the first package you need to download for starting your Android development. So, uh, for downloading Java, uh, just open up Google and just type JDK uh, You can see here is the first link and oracle.com. This is the link, <coughs> official website of Oracle. From this link, you will get an appropriate version of JDK for your computer. So here I just click this link. Okay, here is the uh, Oracle website. Uh, you can see uh, here uh, there is a lot of downloading options are available. Here is the JDK. Here is the Java FX package. Here it is the it, this link is the JDK with NetBeans. Uh, this link is JDK with uh, Java E package. So for starting Android development, you don't need any advanced versions of Java or you don't need this NetBeans ID. So uh, you have to download the JDK, just simply the JDK. So uh, I click this link. Okay, now you are entering, you are entering to another page of that website you can see here is a license agreement is here so you have to accept the binary oracle binary code license agreement for java so i just accept the license agreement also you can see uh, a lot of uh, there is a lot of java versions are available here for download uh, this is based on what is the platform uh, what is your platform for development so uh, you have to decide what is the Android platform for your development. So, you have to choose an appropriate version of uh, Java for your uh, computers. Uh, so, the, I am running a platform with Windows. So, I am just uh, going to download the Windows version of Java with the 64 bit. So, I am mm, going to download this package. Here is my download startup. After the successful download, you will get an installer icon like this. This is nothing but the Java JDK installer icon. Uh, so you have to, the next step you have to install this JDK. Uh, this is because I am already installed JDK in my PC. That's why this message appear. Uh, so you have to uh, install this package by uh, clicking next, next and finally click finish. So uh, for checking the correct installation of Java, just go to your Windows directly and open up the uh, program files. Open up the program files. Uh, there is a folder called uh, uh, Java is present there. So you have to open that folder. Uh, also, uh, within that folder, you can see two categories of uh, directories. Two categories of folders are present. First one is the JDK, and second one is the JRE. <coughs> JDK is nothing but the Java compiler files, Java developing kit file. 
uh, open up JDK you can see there is a folder called bin within that folder you can see a lot of jar files and DLL files are present here uh, these are nothing but the uh, files needed for the Java compiler um, also you can see a folder called uh, JRE. JRE is nothing but the Java runtime environment or simply the uh, JVM. You can see the JVM files from the bin folder within that uh, JRE folder. These are the files needed for the uh, Java, simply the JVM. So after doing all this stuff, you are successfully installed Java in your computer. So uh, the next package, the next software package you need to download is the an IDE for starting Android development. The recommended IDE for starting Android development is the Eclipse uh, IDE. So uh, the next step you have to download Eclipse IDE. So again go to open up Google. Uh, just type Eclipse download uh, here it is the here is the official website of eclipse eclipse.org so I click this link uh, now you are entering to the website eclipse.org uh, like Java here here also a lot of versions of eclipse are available for download here it is uh, Eclipse for Java EE developers, C++ developers. A lot of versions of Eclipse are available here. So you, I am recom I recommended you to download <coughs> the Eclipse IT for Java developers or the uh, simply or you have to download the classic version of Eclipse. So also you are you have to choose. Uh, whether your operating system is 64 bit op or <coughs> 32 bit no so my operating system is 64 bit so I am, that's why I'm going to download the 64 bit version of Eclipse um, here also a verse a there are uh, more than one downloading options are present here uh, there is a big torrent client if you are planning to download Eclipse by using a torrent a torrent client you have to download the torrent file with torrent fly, file from here uh, or you have a direct downloading link is also present here or you have to choose um, a mirror options for download so I am just using the direct link for downloading Eclipse here my download startup after the successful uh, after the successful download of Eclipse you will get a uh, zip file like this actually Eclipse is downloaded in the form of a zip file so you have to extract this zip file into an appropriate location uh, so you have to extract these files okay after successful extracting the Eclipse uh, zip file you will got a folder like like Eclipse folder like this uh, so open up that folder uh, here you can see these are the files needed for Eclipse IDE uh, you can see a launcher icon is present here this is the Eclipse launcher icon uh, by using this icon you have to open up Eclipse if you want to if you want Eclipse icon on your desktop you have to uh, send you have to send uh, this icon to the desktop okay after using this uh, you can see uh, an Eclipse ID icons presence in the desktop so open up that icon double click that icon here is the Eclipse startup okay here is the this is the Eclipse IT window if you are running Eclipse for the first time there is a welcome screen is present there uh, also there is a work path launcher is also uh, asking for choosing a work path a work path is nothing but the default uh, saving location of your Eclipse project so you have to choose uh, an appropriate work path 
and uh, press ok then you have to uh, you will get the IDE open up uh, I am already of uh, I am already installed Eclipse in my PC that's why it's appearing like this after closing that welcome screen your IDE is also uh, looking like this uh, so there is a lot of steps you have to do for uh, developing Android with Eclipse IDE so uh, I will explain it in the next uh, next part of this tutorial okay guys thank you for watching and uh, keep subscribe my and subscribe my channel and uh, see you in the next part of this tutorial